the urban municipalities are, are having a tough time with, with working with their with their neighbors, but in many areas they're working well. So you know that's so that issue that issue comes up. The policing issue is one that, that our members keep telling us to you know to work hard on. Um, one of the big things though too, we've we've approached the province for a, a different type of a partnership, like an ongoing rather than the old going and applying for grants constantly, basically asking them for a, a transfer, for a new agreement, way to basically to, to deal with the problems in, in municipalities. And uh, basically last year we were, we were told, no, we're not going there, we're not. The province really doesn't want to give up the control. If they control the purse strings, the grants, yes, no, uh, they've always got the control. We're asking for a more, I guess, a more mature relationship. We're, we're no longer kids. We're, we're grown-ups. We're an order of government. We're not a, uh, you know, just a kind of a child of the of the government, of the provincial government. Uh, and we feel that uh, municipalities need to be recognized for for what they do, and what they are. You know, we've got a, a new finance minister, and uh, you know, from all accounts, the man is a very intelligent man. And so I'm, I'm counting on the fact that uh, he's intelligent enough to realize that and, and to, uh, in future budgets, to uh, realize the importance of all of the municipal infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got, there's, you know, educating our children is obviously hugely important and, you know, preventative, preventative health. These, these are all good investments in, in, in healthcare in general is, is a good investment, but, you know, Municipal infrastructure, it's putting people to work across Alberta. And uh, it's just, I, I don't see any, any pitfalls or downfalls to it.